Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Hot Lapper. Um, today we're going to be hot lapping this GTR, the Nissan GTR, the R35, Godzilla, whatever you like to call it. So far with the cars we've got on the leaderboard at the moment, I fully expect this car to take the top spot. It's obviously a, a supercar and the others were just uh, sporty hatchbacks. So with that in mind, we're definitely going to set the fastest lap time today but by just how much. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboards now and we can see what we've got there. So we've got a 1 minute 3.2 to beat so I fully expect we'll beat the 1 minute mark. We'll, uh, I don't know, maybe 58, 59, 57, 56, I don't know but we're going to give it a go and let's see how we do. So let's get straight to it. Now the one thing I think we can all pretty much agree on is compared to the past two cars, the Honda Civic and the Fiesta ST, this is a com completely different kind of car, it's in a different league, this is a supercar in its own right. This GTR is obviously well known for being pretty much a monster, that's why it got given the name Godzilla. Uh, one thing to point out is, with it being a much bigger car and having a much bigger footprint, it is actually a little bit more trickier to navigate through these quite narrow, well this narrow track and when you throw in the fact that it's got a lot more power to contend with it actually felt a lot more trickier, I mean the hot hatches uh, they feel really good and I think I just uh, had to have a little bit of time to adjust to this one uh, but obviously um, either way it's going to be quicker so when, when I do get dialed in with this GTR it is going to set a blistering lap time and I'm just waiting now to see what this lap time actually is I mean that's that's the out lap and it's, it's done a 1 minute 2.3 and then obviously I've overcooked it and uh, now there's some body work that needs to be done on it uh, okay through the magic of editing we, we continue and I'm just, I'm just wanting to see what uh, lap 3 will be because obviously lap 2 is pretty much destroyed now it's been dirted that's the um, this is the lap what we just crashed on obviously in a supercar as well this little crest here that's you can hear the the tires getting really light at the front and almost becoming airborne there so there's that little bit to contend with as well and coming down the downhill here onto the straight it's actually got a lot of grip the GTR. I thought, I thought with it being a bit heavy it might have been a little bit more uh, tricky but okay across the line now I'm just really curious as to what time I set. Obviously I set these time recorded it and I'm just narrating it over the top of it at the moment. For, for a big car it really does get into them apexes even though them apexes are quite tight and on the front wheel drive hot hatches they're actually really difficult to hit but the GTR obviously has its four wheel drive trickery and it helps get you around nice so that's one of the uh, key points as to why the GTR is so fast I mean it's an oldie but it's still going strong the latest versions, I think it's about 565 brake horsepower they're kicking out with a, with a Nismo one about 600 horsepower so that, oh there we go, 57, 57.0 and that's not even the, the fastest lap, we're going to the fastest lap right now so here we go so it looks like the fastest lap came on lap 7 so we're just Flying down the straight now and past the finish line on to lap seven. Yeah, keeping it nice and tight there. We're keeping full grip on all the tyres there, which is how every corner should be really. But it seemed to be uh, pulling it off nicely there. The left hander and the right hander onto the no-name straight. 
full throttle. Sounds good this car as well, I quite like it. Oh there. Going straight on the uphill really nice. That was smooth as butter that wasn't it? And all these lap times I'm setting, they're all set on the joypad as well. I don't have a wheel just yet. With the wheel I'd be able to be a bit more quicker. Oh, I'm going downhill. A little bit of a wobble there. A little bit scary, but let's see what the lap time is. Well, we just got we just got in the 56 range there, 56.998. So that's a 56.9. And yeah, it's kind of what I was hoping for. That is a very very fast lap. It's a below a minute, and uh, I'm pretty curious as to what the other supercars will will bring to the table. I know the GTR is fast; it always is. So that's like the benchmark, I'd say, for the, the supercar tier of cars that we're going to be uh, hot lapping on this track. So now the only thing left to do is to put that time on the leaderboard. And as you'll see now, I've done a little bit of change to the leaderboard. I've uh, made it look a little bit more snazzy. I put it in a nicer room. Uh, and yeah, at the top we have the Nissan GTR, followed by the Civic Type R and the Fiesta ST. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode hopefully. If you did like this episode please like and subscribe. See you later.